Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. We're going to talk today. Uh, if I do it right, you're going to be pretty angry by the end of this on how we're being lied to uh, about climate change, not that it's not actually happening. But wh what I'm going to do here today, we're going to look quickly at some of the basic climate change facts to take a look at, at some things you may not be aware. And then we'll dive into some of the recent, what I call the big climate lies. Just over the last year, there have been some really, really big lies where they're, they're saying X, and the science, the facts, and the data say Y. And then we'll, we'll finish it up. Uh, the other big thing I like to talk about are the many benefits of rising temperature and increasing CO2. So first, I'm, I, I, let's start with what I believe. I'm often called a science denier. Uh, so let, let's, let's say, what do I believe? I believe that CO2 is increasing, and that increase is mainly due to the burning of fossil fuels. It's human-caused emissions. Uh, we're in a warming trend. We are. It's been warming in fits and starts, but it started over 300 years ago. We'll take a look at that. Uh, I believe that CO2 is a greenhouse gas and that that increase in CO2 has a warming effect on the atmosphere. I just think it's fairly modest, and it's overwhelmed by the same natural forces that have been driving temperatures since the dawn of time. And lastly, I believe that Earth and humanity are benefiting greatly from the slight rise in temperature and the increase in CO2. Uh, and I think I'll convince you by the end of this uh, presentation today. So let's take a look at some of the, of the facts. I, I, we're going to go quickly on this. Usually I delve most of my talk dealing with, with these, what I call the inconvenient facts. Let's look at carbon dioxide first. Uh, carbon dioxide is at the root of this whole Green New Deal in the Paris Climate Accord, isn't it? Because they're saying they're, they need to demonize carbon dioxide, what otherwise should be a miracle molecule. They're calling it the demon molecule. Because they're saying that this increase in CO2 is causing uh, extreme warming of the atmosphere, which will then lead to catastrophic consequences. So this is a chart here. Anything we see in the future, blue will be carbon dioxide. This is a chart, uh, and we'll see this on other charts as we go forward. This, these are human emissions of CO2. And we can see this goes back to the year 1750. Uh, and we can see there were very few CO2 emissions really until the beginning of the 20th century. And, and it really wasn't until after the, in that big World War II economic boom, uh, the mid 20th century is whenever we started really seeing a significant amount of carbon dioxide emissions. And it's really that period from the 20th century on, if we were gonna find CO2 driven warming, it would be in that last 60 or 70 years of, of the, uh, that we look back. Uh, so this is an important chart, and again, we'll be looking at this in further charts as we go forward. Uh, bear in mind that before we started adding CO2 to the atmosphere, I'm going to throw out a few numbers here, not too many, but we were at about 280 parts per million at the beginning of the Industrial Revolution. We're at a little over 400 now, so we've added, and again, I don't want to throw a whole bunch of numbers out, we've added 130 parts per million. You'll find out why this is so important. 130 part per million increase of CO2. Um, I'm a geologist, and as a geologist, I look at things in the big perspective. I look in thousands of years as a blink of a geologic eye. We look in things in hundreds and th thousands and millions of years. Uh, so we take a look at, let's take a look first at carbon dioxide through geologic time. Uh, and we find that the average, and again, we're a little over, remember, we're a little over 400 parts per million right now. Throughout Earth's history, carbon dioxide has averaged 2,600 parts per million, six and a half times what they are today. And this is a chart of the last 140 million years of CO2 uh, in the atmosphere. This is a, this should scare you to death. This is a chart showing a straight line decline